Mariah Carey is known for her spectacular high notes, but tonight a professional relationship has ended on a decidedly sour note, with the recently divorced star being sued by her former nanny, her family's supposed dirty laundry now being aired out in court. Here's my Nightline co-anchor, Juju Chang. Mariah Carey's voice launched her status as a musical diva with hits like You'll Always Be My Baby. But now the woman who's been taking care of her babies is accusing the star of being a diva at home. Carrie's nanny of four months filing a lawsuit against her and her husband Nick Cannon just weeks after the couple filed for divorce. The lawsuit accuses the couple of forcing her to work 100 hours a week and failing to pay her overtime. The nanny says her duties were feeding, bathing and comforting the famous couple's now three-year-old twins Monroe and Moroccan. But she also claims she was fired after Mariah got mad at her for being too affectionate. A tendency she alluded to in a radio interview. Unfortunately, I have to have nannies, but I'm very hands on. I fire nannies like this, and I hate doing it, but I yeah. have to because if they try to make themselves more important in the baby's minds than me. But for Carrie, these are her miracle babies. After suffering a miscarriage, these twins were born thanks to fertility treatments, as she shared with Barbara Walters. It's just love, it's a beautiful place to be. But for working moms, that love can often be tinged with jealousy when they feel the nanny is getting too close to their babies. The reality is your child should be able to love and receive love from all kinds of people. They don't lose by having more people loving them. But that wasn't the only issue. The nanny claims she was not compensated for jet setting around the globe with the singer, toting her kids. No glamour, more like real life nanny diaries. I need you to Xerox some recommendation letters for Greyer's collegiate application. Also, we should introduce French food into his diet. It might enhance his study of the language. Dry cleaning. Celebrities are used to getting told yes all the time. They're used to people going along with what they want. And it may work a little differently with a nanny. In the lawsuit, Simonette DaCosta claims she was on call 24 hours a day with no entitlement for breaks, for meals, and even for sleep. And that Carrie would call in the middle of the night. In general, you need to get five hours of uninterrupted sleep or you need to be paid hourly. Anita Rogers runs an exclusive agency, British American Household Staffing. If it's a live-in job, which 100 hours a week probably is, it needs to be at 44 hours at a specific hourly, and that hourly cannot be under minimum wage. That's the law. Mm -hmm. And then it needs to be time and a half. But being a celebrity nanny often involves demanding work, even if you're living the high life. Carrie's nanny was paid more than $6,000 a month, which translates to roughly $80,000 a year. A representative from Mariah Carey told ABC News that they don't comment on frivolous lawsuits. This isn't the first time a nanny has caused a stir in high-powered circles. Rupert Murdoch's nanny sued the billionaire and his now ex-wife, Wendy Dang Murdoch, calling their home a war zone. A judge dismissed the case against them. Before you start, like anything, with any job, but maybe especially domestic staffing, you have a watertight contract. Anita Rogers says discretion is the key when hiring nannies for the rich and famous. You don't want your nanny telling the nanny in the park your dirty secrets, do you? I mean, it's terrible. Or even your clean secrets. None of them. She says that a well-trained nanny should know what she's in for. A professional nanny knows that all cleaning related to the children and packing related to the children is their job. A babysitter comes in, watches the kids and goes home. A nanny has to do everything related to the children, cooking, cleaning, organizing, ironing. That said, being a nanny to the stars is no easy job. From Angelina to Gwen Stefani, high-profile moms lead unpredictable lives and can be demanding bosses. The best thing what we advise at British American Household Staffing is to hire two or three nannies because a work-life balance is the wisest thing to give your employees, right? But along with the demands come the perks of a glamorous lifestyle, which is why some potential nannies to the stars are willing to pay top dollar to attend this nanny school. We are not training babysitters. We are training fantastic, certified professional nannies. Here at the English Nanny and Governess School in Chagrin Falls, Ohio, nannies learn CPR, cooking. OK, we're ready for popsicles. Even handling horses. If a nanny's not comfortable around a horse, the children will pick up on it, the horse will pick up on it. The tuition, $10,000. But once hired, they can make that back almost immediately, and much, much more. So how much can celebrity nannies make? 
I have people making exorbitant salaries, a quarter of a million dollars. There's been stories where the family actually pays for the nanny to further her education. They take her on shopping trips, take her on cruises, personal planes, like all of it. Like they're living the life. That's the high life, the nanny's dream job. But sometimes dreams fall short of reality. For Nightline, I'm Juju Chang in New York.